What is going on, everyone? And welcome back to another video. Now, I thought long and hard about how I wanted to make a video about the worst comments I've read so far on my channel, but I think putting them on blast by reacting to their comments directly wasn't a good look. So, instead, I just want to talk in general. So the biggest common denominator that I found among all these bad comments is one thing. The lack of empathy. For my non-English speaking viewers, empathy is about understanding and sharing the feelings of others. It's about putting yourself in someone else's shoes. I'm talking about those who advocate for hard raids or harder raids because the current raids are too easy for them, completely ignoring the consequences to that. I'm talking about those who have static groups and think people who complain about raids in pugs should just get better at the game. I'm talking about those who gatekeep on trivial things just because they are emptied so they feel they deserve the best. I'm talking about those who lack empathy for new and returning players saying insane things like encouraging people to spend $100 a week for the advanced honing material pack claiming it's worth it. Is it though? Let's talk about it. Long intro for today's video so I apologize for that, but if you like these rants and discussions we have on this channel, make sure to click on that subscribe button or more. All right. The first thing I want to talk about is how the average player deals with damage requirements in Lost Ark. This is because I am seeing a lot of people in my pugs not playing efficiently, which actually does hurt chances to clear the raid. Cough, cough, echidna hard. Because of these strict DPS requirements, and yes, I do mean strict, because I am thinking in the perspective of the average player in Lost Ark. For those who don't get it yet, a majority of players will fall along the average level and below average level. So when we are creating raids and balancing them, should we be catering to that 1% of players who can clear no matter what? No. That's how you lose your casual and average player base who don't want to sweat all the time when playing raids. Don't worry though, I used to think just like you, where all the raids were too easy for me and I needed more of a challenge. So it's okay to think that way, but it's now time to grow up. We have a mission to save this game. Now I guess it's a different story if you don't care about the longevity of this game, but I do, and many others do as well. So. I will always advocate for the casual player base to thrive over that 1%. And let's talk about those players now about who think that, you know, they're in a static group, so everyone else should be able to perform the same way. In a static group, you got your team, you got your synergy, and your communication all down to a T. It may mean nothing to you, but even communication alone makes a huge impact on raid clear. But in pugs, you're working with random players who might be undergeared, less experienced, or just not as coordinated. You don't know what kind of player you will get that week. So it's disingenuous to try and compare your situation with someone who pugs. It's a whole different ball game, especially when you out level the raid by 20, all of you. Telling people to just get better is dismissive and shows a lack of understanding for the challenges that come with pugs. Next, let's address the gatekeepers, the ones who RMT and then act like they deserve the best. These are people who buy their way to the top and then turn around and look down on everyone else. It's ridiculous. It creates this toxic environment where new or returning players feel like they can't compete or that they're just not good enough. 
I am a huge advocate that people should indeed play to their level. But I got a comment so out of tune, it made me realize that it doesn't matter if both Jimmy and Timmy have a mansion. If Timmy doesn't also have a Lamborghini like Jimmy, then see ya. In case this analogy didn't make sense, let me talk a little bit more direct. I had a comment that mentioned that they would gatekeep my Arcanist, the one you see in this video, because it had a single level 7 cooldown gem. Mind you, the gem was on Celestial Reign for Emperor Ar Arcanist. For those who play Arcana, you can probably understand how stupid this comment is. For those who don't play Arcana, I'll explain. Celestial Reign is an already low cooldown skill, but with the added swiftness and boundless, and just the simple fact that you need the stacks to detonate it, it means that the skill will always be available. In my screen right now, my cooldown is 5 seconds long. I don't have enough time to stack again and cast a skill because I have so much more important things to cast. There's really no need for a level 9, level 10 cooldown gem on Celestial Rain, per se. Right? But anyway, so for someone to tell me that they would gatekeep me for it, even though I have level 10s and 9s on every other skill, tells me how little this person knows about Lost Ark. It's really scary knowing players like this are running around in my raids as the lobby leader. Had I known they were an arm tier with zero knowledge of classes, I would run away so fast. Coincidentally, this lack of empathy is what drives players away from the game. Anyway, and finally, those who are so financially deaf to people's costs of living situations, those who actually encourage players to spend $100 a week on honing packs, claiming it's worth it. Yes, you heard me. A hundred buckaroos every single week. Seriously? This advice is insane and shows a complete disconnect from reality. I couldn't even believe my eyes when I read that. And mind you, I am one of those people who, you know, am fortunate enough that $100 a week isn't really much for me. But most players aren't looking to throw that kind of money at the game every single week. And they shouldn't have to just to keep up. That's me. I'm not going to spend $100 a week. So who are you to say if something is worth it or not? $100 could afford groceries for a week. Like for me, $100 can afford groceries for a week. Even for some families. And you say it's worth it over a video game? It may be worth to you, but it isn't worth to other people and myself. We need to be realistic about what we recommend to others, especially when it comes to spending real money in game. I hope you all enjoyed this type of video. I know it's a little negative, so let me know if you don't like this type of content. We can always ignore the haters for next time. Otherwise, you know, if you guys are enjoying, you know, blasting these haters, make sure to click on that subscribe button for more videos. And I forgot last time, so for my pineapple gang, thank you all so much for sticking around until the end of the video. I really, really appreciate it. Today's code word is bully, B-U-L-L-Y. Let's see what you all come up with this time. I'll see you all in the next video. I'll let this video play out uh, for the rest so you guys can see the end of this raid. But other than that, see you guys in the rest of the video, or not the rest of the video, see you guys in the next video, and goodbye.